Hello Liberia, this is your social media presenter, Mr. Isaac Alexander Yoyo III. Happy independence to our great nation, Liberia. Uh, may God bless the president, the government, all the political parties, and the upcoming election for our great nation. Uh, and for my Independent Day message, I, ref I prefer to give a reflection of the historical reflection of Liberia. For because the, at this time, the young generation need to know, at least know a little bit about the history of the country where Liberia started from where they went through and where we are at this point in our national history. May God bless our nation and bless all of you people. Welcome. And the title of today is Liberia Brief Success Story and Grooming as a Nation 1820 to 2003. God bless you and tune in at this time. The founding of Liberia in the early 1800s was motivated by the domestic politics of slavery and race in the United States as, as well as by the United States foreign policy interests. Okay? The funny of Liberia predominantly was captivated by American foreign interests. In 1816, a group of <clears throat> American, uh, American founded the American Colonization Society, ACS, to deal with the problem of the growing number of free blacks in the United States by resettling them in Africa. The resulting state of Liberia will become second after Haiti black republic in the world at the time. The first president of Liberia was Joseph Jingham Rawas and those who worked along with Joseph Jingham Rawas when Liberia gained her independence as follows. Henry Clay, Daniel Webster, and John Randall was among the well-known members of the American Colonization Society who worked tirelessly with Governor Jenkins, Joseph Jenkins Roberts for the Young Republic, African Republic. Former President Thomas Jefferson publicly supported the organization, the organization's goals, and President James Madison arranged public funding for the society, which means the American Colonization Society funding was, was raised by pres the president at the time, James Madison, who arranged funding for to enable the American Colonization Society to reset a slave. Uh, free slave back in Africa. So let us look at the support, antagonism, and struggle for settlement for the free slave. It didn't just come easily. There were people who were on board. There were people who were halfway on board for different interests. So the reason for joining the society of the men were enormous. There were so many reasons why the top Americans joined the American Colonization Society was no, that was a enormous. As variety of people on the abol abolitionist to slave holder added up themselves member of the ACS. On the other hand, many abo abo abolitionists, both black and white, eventually rejected the notion that it was it was 
impossible for the races to integrate, meaning that they were thinking that it was impossible for the race to integrate you know, with the white population, the black people, and therefore did not support the idea of the African American colony in Africa. So those that wasn't, you know, there was so many mixture of people who wanted to support and some who didn't want to support. They had their own, you know, hidden agenda. And therefore did not support the idea of an African American colony in Africa. Meaning it was, it wasn't, or has never been easy from the funding of Liberia and to resettle the slave. With God being part of the process, the American colonization